Well, so many players in this election and most important is the IEBC. However, there's so many in the supporting cast. Among them is the interior and that, uh, that's the reason why tonight we have the PS, Dr. Karanjo Kibicho, talk about several issues. We'll have an extensive interview or an extended interview at the top of the hour of news hour. That's at 10. But we'd like to begin with a few questions. Thank you so much for coming tonight. Thank you very much. Good for, evening. Good evening. Perhaps the first question is, uh, th there is this advisory that we saw today posted by the U.S. Embassy. What do they know about the county of Kisumu that perhaps you know and you're not telling us or you don't know and they know? Uh, thank you very much. I think uh, it's unfortunate that uh, we are here to discuss that uh, because um, uh, the U.S. Embassy has actually withdrawn uh, that advisory that they had uh, put in the morning. Uh, the explanation is that uh, these are the generically, uh, genetically uh, generated uh, advisories. Uh, there was no uh, reason for them to actually think Kisumu is a problem. And that's the reason why they have uh, withdrawn it after the government questioned. Uh, straight to your question. Uh, there is nothing they know that we don't know because uh, we have uh, been doing our security evaluation for every part of this country. And uh, among the places where we are worried, Kisumu is not one of them. It's the least of our worries. We don't expect any problems there. And I think it was unfortunate that uh, the U.S. Embassy released such an advisory. We are glad, however, that they were quick to withdraw it and reassure uh, their citizens that they can go to Kisumu without a problem. All right, but I'd I like to ask still on that. You say it's generic, they usually um, are generated, and then you say again there is no cause for worry, and then this is the fact that they had released it, regardless of the fact that they withdrew it. I mean, for them to have singled out Kisumu, among, because the interior ministry has done a lot of work in this country yes. regarding places perceived to be hotspots. But even for them to have singled that, I mean, you can't just wish it away and say it was generic. They can't wish it away regardless of the explanation. I mean, if it was something that was to trigger, it has done that. Uh, yes. you, you know, the, uh, the question that I can answer properly mm -hmm. is the question that belongs to Kenya. Okay. Uh, the, there is no reason to think Kisumu is a hotspot. We have a responsibility as Ministry of Interior to ensure that every part of this country during this election is uh, safe. The dynamics in Kisumu, and I know uh, the follow-up of this question, is because uh, one of the leading presidential candidates comes from there. The political behavior of Kisumu is the same political behavior of CI, is the same political behavior of Migori, and there are no advisories around that, even though we know historically the response uh, politically of uh, those four counties is usually identical. And therefore, uh, we don't know why they did that. Okay. Probably they should answer when we asked. Uh, that's the answer they gave us, and they withdrew the advisory. What I can assure you is we have every interest to see that every county in this country conducts its uh, election in a peaceful manner. And uh, we have no reason, uh, if we think Kisumu is a hotspot, not to say so and deploy appropriately. Okay. Because it is our work to ensure that the security and people are safe. What I am telling you, looking you in the face, is that out of all the hotspotting, uh, mapping that way, like is not even near. Uh -huh. Kisumu is green, not even yellow. Not even all right. Deputy President, in one of the um, campaign trails, said it's unfortunate that uh, his uh, opponent, may, uh, main opponent, that's Raila Odinga, has made it impossible for him to campaign in Kisumu and Nyanza region. Yet you're assuring us, you're saying Kisumu is, okay, how comes the Deputy President of a country cannot campaign in Kisumu? The last time he tried, he was stoned in Kondele. You know, uh, the opposite is also... Uh, true if it's uh, some harassment that has happened. We saw the chopper of uh, 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 Honorable Raila Odinga being stoned uh, somewhere in Rift Valley. And I think 
our responsibility is when that happens because it's clearly against the law. We take swift action and in both cases we took uh, swift action. Uh, Honorable Raila Odinga after that incident has gone back to Rift Valley and there has not been violence. Uh, the deputy president has not attempted to go to Nyanza mm -hmm. to tell us one incident cannot make him generalize a whole region because uh, these are politics. There are some places uh, he will go and uh, people are not as warm. There are places he'll go, people are warm. But that doesn't mean that there is hostility because these are politics. Once an incident happens, our work is to ensure that we follow uh, up who caused the, I mean, who, uh, who uh, caused the stoning, uh, who was involved in this crime, and take them to court. That's what we do. And in both incidents, that happened. But uh, uh, it will be very fancy to say that there is hostility okay. uh, because uh, this politics, you still also want to whip emotions. So now you would you'd say with three days left, you can assure the deputy president that he can transverse Nyanza and he will be secure as a the, senior government the, official. The deputy president can go to any part of this country. Uh, if he feels like he will not be safe in a place, uh, he informs us and we will deploy the security around him appropriately. Okay. And I think uh, he has that right as a presidential candidate, but most importantly as a deputy president of a country. So I think uh, these statements that are being thrown without any evidence to just uh, cast as passions to what we do as Ministry of Interior are reckless mm -hmm. because uh, we have not had one request of coverage, uh, security coverage, mm -hmm. of any of the presidential candidates, the four of them, and we have turned it down. Okay. Yeah. All right, uh, interior and coordination of uh, government business that uh, Dr. Karanja Kibito stays. Before you go. Okay, okay. I, 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 because I want, we, we have a whole hour to talk I, to you, but I, yeah. But, 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 but I want to just tell you what we are called. <laughs> we are called Ministry of Interior, Ministry of interior and coordination, coordination of national, national government. government. But I also say this, I yes. want to say this yeah. before we come back, mm -hmm. uh, so that uh, we don't have to repeat that uh, okay. discussion. That... Uh, on 10th of August, the, chance, the sun shall rise and it will set. We don't have to treat this election as if it's a matter of life and death. We, we have been through these cycles very many times. The people we are fighting about, on 10th, they will be tossing champagne with each other. Mm -hmm. My caution is that as we go through the remaining few days, ensure that uh, they are peaceful, know that this election shall come and go, ensure that as people toast, you are not uh, nursing a wound okay. because of people who care least about you. All right. Dr. Karanja Kibicho stays with us. We are coming at the top of the hour with an extended interview. Away from that to 